Greetings. This is Arvette McLean of Speak the Universe Listens. Change your thoughts, change your life. Step into the bigness of you. So similar to Stephen, I also trying to one I try one ritual that I've recently started is every month I try and find like one new thing to do so that way I can just expand my horizon that way. So that's one. As well as I think I mentioned it before, if I start every morning if okay I start every work morning like this. I have to get up and make myself a cup of tea, but like that cup of tea isn't it's not even necessarily for the drinking. It's like the process of making it is like quieting and it's my time to myself. That's like. So I started it when I started thinking about how you say um, you meditate best when you run. So it's like something like, like making the tea. It just, that whole process is like one ritual for me. As well as um, every Friday morning, I have to start with some oldies but goodies. So I got to listen to like Sherlin, Uncle. I got to listen to Guys To Be Real. Like the things that's going to get me going. So that way I can actually like, all right, you know, it's a good day. Let's get on out the house and let's get going. All right. It's the weekend that's not the weekend, right? I like that. So those are like two major rituals I have. <laughs> I can see you now. I just got the picture of you doing it now in my head. I'm like, <laughs> dancing. All kinds of dancing. All because of nobody watching. <laughs> so actually, those are two of my favorite songs. So you had to call me one day when you go to the dance together. 
That's how, that's just how I have to start. And you know what's so crazy about it? They long songs. So it's like I got a good 14 minute workout just to get the day started. It's perfect. So do you be like really groovy? No, I'm like really getting to it. Um, so the other day I had like a um, event at work or whatever. Um, so I was supposed to be giving a tour. And so it was like a Friday. It was like raining that day. I did not want to leave my house. I was like, all right, well, you don't want to leave. So let's get there early. So I got there early. I sat at the front desk because the front desk person I did on Fridays, man, I sat there and had about a whole 30 minute long um, concert. Somebody came in the door, walked past and everything. I'm like, oh man, you won't want to see none of that. <laughs> So actually, I think I do have a ritual now, uh, but I, I used to, and I, when I say used to, what I, what I mean is it's on pause, okay. right? So my ritual would be, of course I would exercise, but then after I exercise, I would just walk um, in nature. And while I'm doing it, I'm actually quieting myself, quieting the chatter. Yeah. I'm like just really listening to like the birds and looking at the trees, looking at the leaves, looking at, you know, anything that there is to see. And people, all, like, a lot of times I'll take pictures and stuff, people are like, how do you see those things? <laughs> or whatever, but it's like, I'm like really just looking, um, being a part of, and then kind of allowing my body to vibrate with the energy of what's out there. Or whatever and so you know like just literally feeling the wind on your face and I don't know just like every little thing and when I'm hearing the birds chirp a lot of times I'll be like okay which bird made that sound and then I'm like looking <laughs> to see which bird you know so just really being a part of that um, instead of all the other stuff that can go on and oh I'm sorry oh yeah <laughs> <my> morning ritual <laughs> And so then after that, I'll go into my affirmations. And um, like, it's certain ones that I would say all the time. So um, I would always say, I'm connected to the source of all that is. And so when I'm saying that, you know, I'm just like really feeling into the connection that I have with the source, with, with everything. Like, at my core, I'm mm -hmm. connected to everything I see. So I'm like feeling into that. And I'm feeling into the whole ideal that. I see you in me and I see me in you. And I'm really like thinking about if there's anybody I'm having any type of, um, I really don't have any, anything with anybody, but um, I like to try to envision how different people who are not like me, how they are like me, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I go through like affirmations and things like that. Now, I haven't done that in a while, so I'm paused. So right now, my ritual is after I exercise, I'll still take my walk. But instead, I feel like I'm in a period of like um, a different type of growth and, and evolution. And it's like um, the stuff is coming in so fast that I need to process it with someone. And so I usually spend my mornings actually talking about all the stuff that's coming in and like just processing it mm -hmm. over the episode. Yeah, that's kind of like my morning ritual. Okay. Some, some, uh, something else that I thought about um, for me is in the morning time when I wake up, I make sure I like what I'm thinking about is something that uh, uh, that's uh, in, in, in good spirits or in good vibes with uh, what I want in my life. So I wake up in the morning time, I don't have the attitude or the mentality of like, you know, some people get up and be like, ah, no, let me get <laughs> myself ready for work, you know, got another eight hour shift, you know. But, <laughs> and I was like that at one time. So now it's just like I get up and I'm, I'm excited to be up. Mm -hmm. I look forward for my day. Um, so uh, that's, that's something that I just sort of, uh, get myself in tune in the morning time, have my coffee, and then every uh, during the day, I'm just, so like you, I'm just um, in tune in the moment of mm -hmm. everything, because I try to get myself uh, being in the moment, mm -hmm. and not too much focusing on the future, mm -hmm. you know, because you gotta appreciate where you are. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that's something that I do, and for me, uh, it's, it's uh, it's a beautiful thing. I, I enjoy it. It helps me. 
Um, well, I do have one ritual that I do that it's not on purpose, and it's actually one that I want to try more to break while well, I'm going to break more. And it's to waking up and checking the phone first. <laughs> mm, that, that's a good one. That's like a, it's like a natural response for me, and I hate to even say it's a ritual, but I got to call it what it is because I do do it every day. It's like I wake up, and the first thing I want to do is check my phone. And now it's like, luckily, now I'm in a place where like all the stuff that's coming to my phone isn't negative. But I can imagine like a time in my life where I would pick it up, and you're looking at a bunch of negative things first, and you just can't start a day that way. Your energy is already being thrown off because you just entering like this negativity in from the jump and so yeah so i want to stop picking up my phone in the morning first <laughs> <laughs> yeah i find that too not that i don't think i have negative stuff coming to me on my phone but i feel like once the phone or the television enters into the picture it's like that peace that happens first thing in the morning right it's like it's right the way mm -hmm. Because um, I guess when you first wake up, your brain is in a certain um, brain wave. Your brain waves are slower. Mm -hmm. And when they're slower, that's when, that's like the best time to deposit like all the good stuff, you know. Um, but I feel like once you like look at TV or turn the phone on, that it just causes your, your brain waves to just start, you know. But yeah, like I said, uh, every day um, for, for my rituals is just always being mindful of um, just uh, my self chatter, um, telling myself something good, <laughs> if anything. Um, nature, that's another thing. Because for me, just being in nature, I notice it really brings my energy up. Um, I love water. That's it. Mm -hmm. I'm a water science. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, so, um, for me, I'm um, going to the water. Um, it just brings a little, a little bit of peace to me, and then also, I know how to not have that and still be able to mm -hmm. bring peace. You mm -hmm. know, bring peace into my life. Cause sometimes people will get to the point as to where they will find something that sort of brings them peace and brings them joy, and then they feel as though if they don't have that, right. they still mm -hmm. can have yeah. joy right. and peace, and not necessarily if it doesn't have. You know, right. You know, so um, when you can get yourself into that space, that's the way it's just like, hey, um, I, you know, <laughs> I'm just happy just because, then that's, that's awesome. But, but yeah, Stephen, uh, so it's crazy you say uh, water's your thing, because even when I think about myself um, now, I think water also is like a thing for me. When I think about how I spent most of the quarantine, actually, I remember when I wanted peace, I would go to Three Lakes Park and like sit by the three different lakes. And then when they closed that down, I had randomly picked up fishing. And it wasn't until this moment right here that I don't like, oh, that's also right by water. <laughs> so I think water also calms me in pieces and brings me peace as well. Mm -hmm. cool. So um, I'm going to ask Rodney because um, I think in last week's podcast, he was mentioning how he listens to um, affirmations at night. So do, Rodney, do you have any rituals that you follow? That, uh, listening to sleep meditation every night. Uh, like Tehran said, I do. The first thing I do when I open my eyes is grab my phone. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's pretty much. Uh, yeah, I, I remember one of y'all were talking about um, the gratitude. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I, that's another thing I do. I do gratitude. So one of the ones that's on pause for me. And not purposely, there's another one I need to pick up. <laughs> but... I would um, either find time at work to like think about it, like if find a slow moment at work, and because if we all be honest, nobody wants to do all work all day, so you want to have some time. You know, I think it's important to carve like ten minutes out in your work day for yourself as well. I would either do it then or when as I was going to bed. What I have started doing again recently as time of going to bed is I listen to like a sleep meditation book, and it's all right. You know, I would say it works about. Four out of the five nights I do it. It might be one night I just might just be a little restless. But it, the only thing I don't like about it is it is coming from the phone. And I, I do want to get to a point where I'm sleeping with the phone in like a completely different room. <laughs> I think I got some years for that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not ready for that yet. Yeah. So um, my affirmations that I would walk around, I would say like um, every day and every way I'm feeling blank. 
So every day and every day I'm feeling better and better. Every day and every day I'm feeling healthier and healthier, stronger and stronger, smarter and smarter. <laughs> <laughs> um, or uh, I'll say all the blank I need is within me now. All the love I need is within me now. All the joy, all the gratitude, all the kindness, all the patience, um, whatever. So, but what I do is say it over and over and over again. So I'll say, um, all the love I need is within me now. All the love I need is within me now. All the love I need is within me now. And then I just keep saying it until I just feel like, you know, I'm just overflowing with love or whatever the thing is. Goodness, now I'm thinking about it. I have a bunch of random rituals. Another ritual I have is, um, so in every work building I'm at, I, I like to make it a point that I myself personally go around and stop by everybody in the building and speak. <laughs> so that way I can, like, so that way I know that if we only had that one encounter, you could say, wow, he was always so happy when I see him. <laughs> and so that's another ritual I do. I literally walk through the whole school. Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. Oh, Every morning. That's so nice. That's cool. I, I can see you there. You just a habit. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> that is so sweet and kind. Okay. But yeah, so but what's, what's the importance? Why is it even important to have rituals? Um, I would say, I mean, it's a few things. Uh, one, it could just uh, level, level you up in ways that that you would like to see in your life um, changes your mindset and your perspective on how you view things or from how you used to see things and then also um, it can start teaching you how to believe in yourself mm -hmm. that's one big thing I, I learned from me uh, and for me uh, one one thing that I like to think about when I do my rituals is it adds a baseline like well even if I have a very bad day, well, what might feel like a very bad day, it can't be but so bad because I've got this, this, and this in place right. to where, all right, the low is here. Yeah. Like I'm still pretty high up. <laughs> so that's one thing that I think rituals are important for, um, to just the level setting. Yeah. And it forces you to have a good day, I think. Mm -hmm. Like, so when you're doing things that make you feel good, it's kind of hard to even get in a negative place because you're doing things every day and it becomes a normal practice to feel good. That's the importance. It's makes it a normal practice to feel good. Yes. <laughs> I think it reminds you too of uh, gratitude. You know, and just uh, giving yourself to the point as to where you, 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 you're so grateful for everything mm -hmm. within your day. You know, for me, I, I put some on pause. <laughs> my, my gratitude journal that I had, I put it on pause, but we're going to get back to it. But um, when I was actively doing it, I noticed that every day, even on my bad days, I always find, if I couldn't find at least three things out of that day, if it was a bad day, I'll find one good thing. Mm -hmm. But out of, out of the whole day, I had something to be thankful. So when my days go on, I'm just more, um, more grateful. Like I don't have any negative energy. You know? There's nothing that can sort of get me out of my out of my zone or how I want to feel. Because if I wake up in good vibes and good spirits, I'm like, all right, nothing is gonna <laughs> break me down today, you know. So um, I would say just being very grateful every day. Just so um, that's a ritual. I would say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so I guess as we started off with, if we want to make change in our life, like it's easy to say, you know, do this or do that or right. do this or do that. And you can get like a thousand things that, okay, if you do these things, you'll change. Mm -hmm. But you're not likely to do those things. So I would say just pick some, pick two or three, and then put it in your day. And probably at this, do it at the same time mm -hmm. every single day. Uh, until it becomes a habit. So just like when you get up and you brush your teeth in the morning or whatever, it's just like automatic. And it's kind of like people would always ask me, how how can you be so um, like consistent and disciplined with your exercise? And I'm like, because I don't have to think about it. Like it's a, right. like when I I already know when I get up I'm gonna go exercise. It's, 
I don't have to think, oh, I'm not going to exercise today. Nope. I lay my clothes out the night before. <laughs> and when I get up, I'm getting up to go exercise. There's no thought. It's just like getting up to brush your teeth. And so, like, when you start developing rituals, those things will become such a part of you that you don't have to think about it anymore. Um, and so you're replacing um, behaviors that you no longer want with behaviors that you really do want. Alright, any closing comments, guys? Um, no, well, I would just tell people, um, hey, uh, find something that works for you. Um, start on it, you know, even if you if you slip, that's okay, you know. Get yourself, you know, get yourself back to it. And, um, that's, that's pretty much about it. Oh, have y'all heard of um, that thing? It's like some type of, I don't know, dad or something. That's called 75 hard. Mm -hmm. Oh, shoot. <laughs> y'all told me I'll say yes. <laughs> and then I got to explain it, right? But anyway, it's this thing, um, you know, I guess thousands of people are doing it or whatever, where for 75 days, they have to do this set of things. I think it might be five things that they have to do for 75 days. Mm -hmm. And if you miss anything, you have to start over from day one. And so mm -hmm. it's things like um, drinking a gallon of water a day, mm -hmm. reading 10 pages in like a, you know, a nonfiction, but kind of like a self-help type of book or mm -hmm. entrepreneur book or self-development book. Um, you have to exercise twice a day for 45 minutes. And one of the workouts has to be outside. Um, let's see what else. I like it already. Yeah, I like this. It's challenging. I like Let's it. See. It might be like, oh, I know you have to take a picture of yourself every day. Uh, it might be one more thing. But the purpose of it, so I want to say apparently a lot of people, they have total body transformations uh -huh. while doing this, but that's not the point. The mm -hmm. point is to develop mental toughness. Um, and so to make yourself do these things even when it's uncomfortable. So that's why one of the exercises has to be outside, for example, mm -hmm. because some days, you know, it's going to snow or some days it's going to be hot or right. um, some days you might be traveling all day. And so it's going to be inconvenient for you to go outside, but to make yourself do it anyway. So um, I'm not, honestly, I'm not a proponent for it, but I understand it um, and why people would be attracted to doing this. And um, the person who's promoting it or who came up with it, he's like, if you do it, you'll be totally transformed. And that um, people who do it know the difference between people who say they did it. Mm -hmm. They know the <laughs> difference. They mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. I know you did. You lost that. Because of the, just how you were transformed mentally, like from the inside out, and how when things get hard, you don't shrink. And right. like how we always try to make things fit us mm -hmm. you know like um you know you you got you got kids you you know they gonna get sick you mm -hmm. you know you got parents you have things that's going to happen in your life but so do you stop because of that or do wow. you go on now i did not want to do a commercial for us <laughs> for send it hard but um i guess the point that i was making is like like something like that is gives you the process of developing a ritual, mm -hmm. you know. And a lot of times you'll hear where they'll say it takes 21 days to develop a habit. I've done plenty of things for 21 days and didn't, mm -hmm. it wasn't a habit. <laughs> it didn't become a habit. But um, I think, you know, putting something in place, like I say, pick two or three things that you love, you think will be great for you, and just stick with it, do those two or three things until they become a habit and you no longer have to say you no longer have to make yourself do it like you can't wait to do it mm -hmm. okay. so thank you guys for uh, thank you talking thank about you. this topic and thank you guys for being here this week and I hope you can think of some rituals that you can put into place because I think last week we talked about affirmations and so hopefully you can put some rituals around your affirmations look forward to talking to you again next week until then, this is Arvette. This is Steve. I'm Tehran. <laughs>